All right, so we want to review every pick with you. I got one question for each guy. We'll okay. see if I can stump you on them, okay? Mike Hughes, first round pick. What was his 40 time? 4.52. 4.52. Four so yes. you like that speed out of someone in the like first Like the round, speed, right? yeah. like the returnability, and also like the quick twitch getting into and out of his transition. And he can play man coverage, which yeah. is coveted here. All right, you talked to Tony Sperano about the second round pick quite a bit. What did Coach Sperano like about Brian O'Neill? Loves his athleticism, loves his ability to block people and sustain at the second level, yeah. his ability in pass protection to match up with speed receivers. Yeah. Now uh, your third pick of, uh, of the draft, Jalen Holmes, defensive end out of Ohio State University. Arm length on Jalen Holmes, and was that important in the selection? <laughs> Jalen uh, was almost 6'5". Yep. Uh, he was 279 pounds. He ran 477 on our watches at Indianapolis, and he has over 34-inch arm length. And, and Zim loves that in his defensive ends, right? Well, we're looking at him as an inside pass rusher. Oh, at Ohio okay. State, he's played defensive end. They slid him inside some uh, as a nickel pass rusher on third downs, and we think that's where his best fit is for us. Okay. We drafted a tight end, Tyler Conklin. John D. Filippo and the Eagles um, had a lot of success using some of the tight ends, so I would imagine that he was a guy, um, you know, Coach D. Filippo liked Conklin coming up. Yeah, no, they used him at multiple spots on the offense. Former basketball player that has tremendous leaping ability, uh, really showed up down on the Senior Bowl for us and what he was able to do there. So I think he's going to give us a lot of flexibility on our offense to move him around at different positions and hopefully create some mismatches. Daniel Carlson, the kicker out of Auburn. You said Mike Prefer went down to work him out. You guys spent some time with him. How far can he kick the ball? Well, according to your reports, I heard he kicked it 70 yards indoors. That, I, I've heard that he can do that, and we're going to score a lot of points if he can kick 70-yard field goals. I had an opportunity to see him play in the SEC championship game against Georgia, and he has a tremendous leg, mm -hmm. and I know Coach Prefer really liked him off his private workout. All right, offensive lineman Colby Gossett, you drafted him. I believe he was at the Senior Bowl. Did you see anything from him there? Yeah, because he's from App State. Uh -huh. <laughs> Appalachian State. I mean, every now and then. Played, played left guard at Appalachian State. Uh, yeah. Got an opportunity to go down there and compete at a higher level against yep. a couple of the top uh, defensive linemen in this draft and held his own. Yeah, Ade Aruna was the next uh, selection of defensive linemen. Really cool backstory on him. He is another tremendous athlete. Mm -hmm. um, last year in 2016, he had a lot of production when they lined him up wide, they reduced him down. Uh, this year where he was not as effective, but you can't teach that size, length, and speed. Devontae Downs was the last selection, a linebacker out of Cal. I understand the Cal defense took a big jump up this past season and that he was sort of a leader on that defense. Yeah, he's a multi-position player, extremely smart, very instinctive, excellent size. You know, he tore his ACL, uh, but our doctors, uh, after examining him and going through the physical feel that he'll be hopefully ready to go by training camp. Coach Zimmer has um, one of the signs up in the building is special teams wins games. And I know that you guys talk a lot about special teams going into this draft. You draft a kicker, maybe a guy with some returnability and guys who will help on the coverage units, right? That was a big, big part and of this draft. One of the things that you notice is when you get these athletes, those are the guys as they're developing at the position, uh, those are the guys that are going to be the big contributors on special teams. Do you remember back your days starting out as a scout and what the draft was like for you as, as a beginning scout? And do you really think about that and you're appreciative of all the scouts in your room on draft? No, I know they work extremely hard and they're getting an opportunity to get home for a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, we have our Blesto meetings, our combine meetings mm -hmm. coming up in two weeks and we'll start getting ready for the uh, 2019 draft. You looking forward to the rest of the offseason program, get everyone here and working out together, get the 2018 Vikings under one roof. That's the most exciting part. The, I think the biggest thing is the rookie mini camp because you can see these guys uh, and then we start our OTAs. But the one thing we tell all the players is once they step in this building, that's when the evaluation process starts. 